Hi, this is Tony Guthrie, and I want to welcome you back to this final video in this overview of the homiletical bridge process. And uh, so far, we've talked about a lot of things, and uh, hopefully, you're getting some clarity with all of this, and I uh, uh, hope hopefully we'll be able to help you weave it all together. Now, the last time we were together, we talked about the probing question, or at least the last video was on the probing question. Today, we want to talk about in this final video, we want to talk about the plural unifier of the transitional sentence and the outline to a very small degree. Now, the plural unifier is one of the things that you really need to have a, a copy of the textbook uh, uh, so that you can read it and really understand it because it's one of the things that the, the students tend to struggle with the most and it's really an easy concept to grasp because what that is is a one word plural noun that simply describes your outline points or your sermon points. It's that simple. So when you ask the probing question, what does this text specifically tell me about being usable for God, then what it's going to do is it's going to give you some things. And in the case of, of John the Baptist in Mark chapter 1, we saw that we saw two things. We saw that he had a ministry that was connected to the power of God, and he had a ministry that was complemented with Humility. Now we can call that things, two things, or we could call it something better, two aspects. He had two as there were two aspects of his ministry. First, his ministry was connected to the power of God or connected to the awesome power of God. And then secondly, uh, the second aspect was that his ministry was complemented with heartfelt humility. And you notice I use some power words in there that I talk about in the book. Uh, not a lot of time to get into that here. Uh, but two aspects. So when you look at the, the entire passage and you've looked at that big picture, you've discovered uh, the CIT has something to do with being usable for God and you ask it this question. You're, you're asking, what does this text say about being usable for God in its whole big picture world that you deduce and you conclude that it's talking about two aspects of his ministry the connection to God's power and the complement of humility. And it's very simple to say. So, or to see that. And any passage of scripture that you ask the question to, you're asking the probing question, what are you specifically saying about we should all be prayer warriors? Then it's going to give you some things. It's going to give you one, two, three, four things or steps or reasons. The unifier is always plural. And the reason we call it a unifier is because it unifies the outline points that you're going to be uh, teaching or preaching. Because an outline point is going to be three of the same. It's going to be three aspects or three reasons or four ways or two principles or something like that. Again, uh, you'll need to sort of read about that in the book if you acquire a copy of it. Or look at some of the other examples I have here uh, on the, uh, the website. But as you, as you think about that, then you're going to move down into the transitional sentence. And this is where you are, we call it a transitional sentence because we are transitioning from the introduction of the sermon down into the teaching or the preaching point. So let's just say that we've been using this passage out of Mark chapter 1 and we've been talking about how everybody has a, a real keen sense in their life to be uh, significant and, and particularly in the spiritual realm, true born again believers want to be usable for God. And, and we look at people like John the Baptist, we say, oh man, we could never be like them or something like that, uh, like a great man like John the Baptist. And then we begin to tell people uh, in our message, yes, you can be. And I, and I want to share, you to, 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 uh, share with you today, and here's where the transitional com sentence comes, I want to share with you two aspects of John's ministry that you also have available to you. John had two things going for him that you have going for you as well because you also are a believer in Jesus Christ. So we call it a transitional sentence because we are literally transitioning from the introduction down to the real meat or the real body of the uh, message. And, and what that does is it prepares the listener. Having heard this introduction, this interesting introduction, uh, this story of, of, of how people want to be usable or whatever you use to grab and hold their attention, and now what we're doing by telling them we're giving them a transitional sentence. We are now literally moving them into the, the meat of the message. We've gained their interest, and now we're going to get to the heart of the matter. Now, coming down to the outline, this is going to be 
the, the two aspects. We're going to have, you know, John's ministry was, co was connected to God's power. John's ministry was complemented with humility. Now listen, and, and I'll talk about this a lot in the textbook. We don't want to talk about John in our outline. We don't want the, the outline to be John's ministry was connected to God's power because people will say good for John. What we want to say is an effective ministry, an effective significant ministry is connected to God's awesome power. Now that way we're talking about us. Every believer can have a ministry that is connected to God's awesome power. Make it about us, not uh, John the Baptist. And then as you move into the explanation, then you are explaining how John was connected to God's power and so forth. And the second point, every believer can have an effective, significant ministry that is complemented with humility. So you notice that both of those are aspects or things I said I'm going to give you two aspects of a significant and effective ministry. And that's my transitional sentence. And so the plural unifier, aspects, is the way the outline will be stated. I'm going to give you two aspects, uh, complemented with, God, with humility, connected to God's power, of course, inverted. So anyway, hopefully this is, is helpful to you. This is making sense. And as you read through the book and you practice it, of course, send me your examples. I'll be happy to give you some feedback uh, a time or two. And certainly if you want some coaching, uh, by all means, communicate with me about that. And we'll try to see what we can do to set that up for you and help you get the most benefit from it. Uh, it's been a real honor sharing this with you. Hopefully this snapshot overview at least has given you insight. And again, by all means, uh, get a copy of, of the book. It'll be very beneficial to you. There's an ebook version or there's the paperback version. Just click on the link below this uh, video and you'll be told how to, or you'll be taken to a link that'll tell you how to get it. All God's best to you.